Hello students, so up till now we had discussed about what is uh, distance, what is displacement, what is frame of reference, we had seen few examples uh, based on distance and displacement. Well, in today's video we are going to discuss about what is velocity, types of velocity, how to calculate the velocity and then we will solve the questions based on velocities, right, okay. Velocity speed these are very common names right we must be using speed in our day to day life speed is simply the rate of distance travel the rate of distance travel right speed is speed of any body can be calculated with this formula distance traveled upon time taken of course this formula must be this formula you must have learned in your ninth standard also right Finally, velocity is velocity is displacement by time of course both speed and velocity are not same they are different right velocity is displacement by time and speed is distance by time but if a car is moving on a, a straight road without having any kind of turns and just moving on a straight road and in that in that case we can say speed is equals to velocity because because if any object is moving continuously in forward direction on a straight road then distance will be automatically equals to displacement right so whether i speak speed or velocity it will it will not make any difference until and unless the object is moving on a straight road fine so now <laughs> their units are same meter per second we'll discuss about the types of velocities right velocities velocity means it's the ratio of displacement by time right okay types of velocity types of velocities actually or types of speed whatever you say uniform velocity there are mainly four types of velocities right <coughs> velocities uniform velocity non uniform velocity average velocity and the last one instantaneous velocity okay so now we are having mainly four different types of velocities uniform velocity non uniform velocity average velocity and instantaneous velocity right see what is uniform velocity Hmm? or uniform speed uniform velocity or uniform speed in our case speed and velocities are same when object travels equal distance in equal interval of time or when the object covers equal displacements in equal interval of time it is said to be moving with uniform velocity clear clear or you can say it is performing uniform motion right that means the displacement or the distance traveled by the object in equal span of time remains the same for an example if i am saying that a car is undergoing a displacement of 2 meter in every 2 seconds or a car is undergoing a displacement of 4 meter in every 2 seconds that means in first 2 seconds car has undergone a displacement of 4 meter in next 2 seconds again it had undergone a displacement of 4 meter and so on that means the displacement or the distance traveled by the car in equal interval is same so that means it is performing uniform motion and it is moving with uniform speed or velocity what is non uniform velocity when the object travels unequal displacements in equal interval of time right if the object is traveling unequal displacements or distance in equal interval of time then it is said to be moving with non-uniform velocity it is moving or it is performing non-uniform motion that means first two meter it is covering within one second next uh, uh, in next one second it is traveling five meter and next one second it is traveling point one meter etc etc that means the displacement undergone by the car in equal interval are different right so such kind of motion is known as, known as non uniform motion and the velocity is known as non uniform velocity right 
now the third one is average velocity or average speed see i'm once again repeating this i know that speed and velocities are two different physical quantities but in our case when the object or when any vehicle is moving only in one direction in that case we can speed, uh, uh, say that speed or velocity both means the same because the distance and displacement are same fine what is average speed or average velocity so average velocity or average speed will be the total distance or total displacement covered by the object upon total time taken right it's a very easy method uh, how we were removing average in maths or in any other subjects sum of the number upon number of the number in the same manner if we have been said to calculate average velocity this is the symbol you can write av average in uh, this kind of bracket or a bar this is how we will uh, uh, write average velocity so average velocity this is the symbol of average velocity and it is equals to total displacement by total time total displacement by total time right or or if i am in writing average speed then i will write it as total distance upon total time so we'll take one example hmm? i was <coughs> saying to my friend that i traveled the distance or i have moved to ahmedabad hmm? from that means i have traveled from one city to any another city with a speed of 60 so automatically will understand that 60 km per hour hmm, will be the average speed or will be the average velocity it really doesn't mean that uh, my starting and my ending velocities will remain 60 no somewhere i need to increase my speed somewhere i have decreased my speed right so throughout my journey from a city from any city a to any city b the velocity is 60 it means that will be the average velocity right throughout i must have not traveled with the speed 60 somewhere i have increased the speed somewhere i might have decreased the speed but it is the total distance by total time which had given me the answer 60 if you are getting 50 percentage 50 percentage that really doesn't mean that in all the subjects you got 50 marks out of 100 no in one of the subject you might have got 60 and in another subject you might have got 40 out of 100 but the average will remain 50 clear fine so this is what is average velocity this is its symbol and this is the formula total displacement by total time <coughs> okay now what is instantaneous velocity instantaneous velocity means velocity of any object at a particular instant of time at a very particular instant of time suppose i am driving a car and one of my friend phones me and he asked me that at what speed you are driving the car i am saying that just now the speed is 50 so 50 represents instantaneous at that instant at the instant where he had asked me that what is the speed and I have said that it is 50. So 50 does not represent average, it represents instantaneous. At a particular instant of time, the speed of any object is termed as instantaneous speed or instantaneous velocity. Clear? Clear? Fine. So this is where the types of velocities, right? I will I can write it as types of motion, uniform motion, non-uniform motion, average, instant. Clear? Okay. So these are the types of velocities: uniform velocity, non-uniform, average, and instantaneous. Now, now first we will derive the general formula to calculate average velocity or average speed and then we will uh, uh, discuss the special cases. Okay, see, suppose, suppose a car, hmm, a car is moving on a straight road, right, see, let us say it had travel the distance of say b1 with velocity v1 in a time span t1 hmm? that means a car had traveled the distance d1 or a car has undergone a displacement of d1 with velocity v1 in a time interval t1 again any another distance d2 with velocity v2 in a time interval t2 
any distance d3 distances are not same neither the velocity is velocities are same nor the time is same so this is how the car is traveling distances with different different speed different different velocities and it is taking different different time now i have been said to calculate calculate the formula or rather we will write it as obtain the formula of average speed average velocity or average speed or speed ok so according to the definition average speed is defined as total distance by total time and average velocity is defined as total displacement by total time right so let us say average speed is total distance here whether I speak the uh, speed or uh, velocity it all means the same upon total time clear ok so distance travel will be d1 plus d2 plus d3 plus d4 dot 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 up to n number of distances upon the total time taken will be see the car had taken a time t1 to cover a distance d1 t2 t3 and so on so total time can be written as t1 t4 right this is the general formula to calculate your average velocity or average speed right see now we will discuss few special cases this is a general formula general formula clear clear this is the general formula this is how we will obtain average velocity or average speed ok now we will discuss few uh, special cases to obtain average speed and average velocity see we will discuss it with an example so finally our general formula was d1 plus d2 plus d3 dot 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 dn see <coughs> i can uh, write t1 as d1 by v1 of course why because velocity is displacement by time so i am making time as a subject i am taking time will be d1 by v1 similarly instead of t2 i will write it as d2 by v2 d3 by v3 uh, n by vn clear clear so i can take this as my general formula also hmm? i have just substituted time instead of time i have written as displacement by speed or displacement by velocity see now suppose if special case special cases if two displacements are same that means that means say the question is a person is traveling first 5 kilometer with any speed any time next 5 kilometer with any other speed and taking any other time so throughout the question the person is traveling the same distance right that means what if the distance or the displacement covered by the persons are same and we are taking two displacements you understand it see the question is a car is traveling a distance of 5 kilometer car is traveling a distance of 5 kilometer with a velocity 10 kilometer per hour and it is taking a, a time of uh, let us say 10 minutes and next 5 kilometer with any speed 15 hmm, taking time 7 minutes see time is different velocities are different but it is traveling to equal distances it is traveling to equal distances right so if if the distances traveled by or the displacement covered by the car are same if two displacement are same then average velocity will be instead of d1 i can write it as d because d1 equals to d2 equals to let us say it as d so it will be d plus again instead of d2 i have written as d upon d1 that can be written as d by v1 d by v2 simplify this this will be 2d d can be taken common 1 by v1 plus 1 by v2 dd gets cancelled so this is finally 2 upon this will be the lcm v2 plus v1 
So average velocity comes out to be 2v1 v2 upon v1 plus v2. Students can directly use this formula if, if in the question it is given that two distances are equal. You do not have to start from this equation, no, right. You can directly use this formula 2v1 v2 upon v1 plus v2. To make it sure, you can use this formula only if distances are same, distances are same. Okay, what if three distances, are, now what if three distances are given as same, that means if d1 is equals to d2 equals to d3 equals to say d, then again we can use the same concept, right, but the formula will be changed, that means this will be instead of d1, I will write it as d plus d2, I will write it as d upon d, d by v1, d by v2, d by v3. Okay, so in the numerator it will be 3 d, d 1 by v 1, 1 by v 2, 1 by v 3, d d gets cancelled. Finally, average velocity of taking the LCM it will be 3 v 1 v 2 v 3 upon v 1 v 2 v 2 v 3 v 3 v 1, fine. So you can use this formula if 3 distances are given as same, but make sure 2v1 v2 upon v1 plus v2 or 3v1 v2 v3 upon v1 v2 plus v2 v3 plus v3 v1. These are the formulas to be used if in the question distances are given the same. Clear? Now what if time is given the same? So I will discuss another special case when time is equal, how to calculate average velocity, then we will solve few questions, right? See, what if the this uh, time taken is same that means a car is traveling a distance d1 with a speed v1 in a time t. Next d2 distance with a speed v2 in time t. Next d3 distance with a speed v3 in time t and so on and so on. That means if the question is a car covers a distance of d1 in a time span of say 5 seconds next distance d2 in next 5 second, next distance d3 in next 5 second. That means in the given question time is equal. So then what is the formula to calculate average velocity? See, we will use the basic formula d1 plus d2 plus d3 up to dn upon t1 plus t2 plus t3 tn, right. Distance, distance can be written as speed into time because speed is distance by time. So, distance will be speed into time. Time is same. So, now I will not write T1, T2, T3. I will write it as T, T, T. So, D2 speed into time, speed into time, speed into time upon instead of T1 it will be T plus T plus T n times. So, finally this will be T can be taken common from the numerator will be v1 plus v2 plus v3 vn upon t plus t plus t n times of t. t t gets cancelled. So, this is the direct formula to calculate average velocity v1 plus v2 plus v3 vn upon n. This formula is to be used to calculate average velocity if, if in the given question time is given as c. Done. Fine. So, now we will discuss the questions based on same distances, same time by <coughs> using these formulas. Okay.